jesus name almighty father we give you praise for your grace for we take a grace who can stand in this wicked generation father multiply your grace so your children will keep standing to the end in jesus mighty name amen why are the mighty falling so you that think it to stand should take heed lest you fall like others wherefore let him that think it is standard take it heed lest he fall first corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 but you can read from verse 1 to 12 how are the mighty falling and the weapons of war perish second samuel chapter 1 verse 27 the cry of david in the bible concerning the mighty falling is also the cry of few holy men and women of god today many have fallen from the faith i said many many have fallen out from the right track and have fallen from grace many churches have fallen from the hand of jesus into the hand of satan many pastors have deviated from god to the devil many have left the messages of salvation restitution perfection sanctification blameless holiness righteousness and holiness dressings they're supposed to preach to prepare their members for the soon coming rapture and they are now preaching the messages of occupying the earth and gathering worldly wealth to the detriment of their soul but the worst thing is that many who have fallen are still thinking and believing that they are standing that is where the issue is is it not the patients who accept that he or she is sick we visit the doctor so who will convince these fallen believers that they are out of the way god out of his mercy tried to mention their names but many became offended at that so they are left to their destruction with those that follow them if god did not intervene again even i that is writing this god's heartbeat messages now if i did not take heed i will fall out of god's will i can still be writing threats but i'll be writing the doctrines of the council of elders the accepted messages that will not affect anyone spiritually that is why backsliding is dangerous because a backslider will still be doing what he or she is doing when he or she is standing may god keep me in this narrow way to the end in jesus name amen this falling from grace started in heaven when lucifer who was created in perfection and beauty tried to overthrow god his creator ezekiel chapter 28 13 to 16 we also read how adam who was the first man failed moses also who was a great prophet who speaks to god face to face in his days who was given great grace to lead the children of israel to their promised land fell to enter the promised land we also saw samson who was given great strength and power to defend israel but because he did not take heed the deceitfulness of sin pulled him to the floor Saul, who was the first king of Israel, did not escape being fallen out of God's way. So God had to search for his replacement. That is how God has replaced many believers and churches who have fallen. But those fallen believers and churches will still be existing, serving God in the flesh and thinking that God is still with them though the bible said in in the great house there are many verses second timothy chapter 2 20 to 21 the state of those backsliding believers and churches are like the state of saul when the spirit of god departed from him and an evil spirit take over him the bible say that the backsliding will be full of his own ways proverb 14 14 where is the holiness of christ apostolic church when babalala was alive did they maintain the standards today 
where is the former glory and holiness in the assemblies of god church and redeemed christian church of god is it not politics and castle of elders that is being preached there who might have known when deeper life church was deeper life their zeal and hatred of sin are those days but today prayerlessness and pride has conquered them now witches and wizards have gained control there my brethren satan have vowed that he will not go to the lake of fire alone so he's going about planning how to take the whole world with him but it is only those believers who did not fortify their spiritual life very well he will pull down this your prayerlessness lack of studying the bible and listening to messages from holy preachers are the reason you will fall tomorrow if you are not already among the basilides if the great john the baptist who was born at the same period of time with jesus who was called to be the forerunner of jesus who baptized jesus and told the people behold the lamb of god who take away the sins of the whole world if john could still doubt jesus to the point of sending his disciples to ask jesus in matthew chapter 11 2 and 3 are you the one or do we expect another because he could not take heed of his spiritual life in the prison the same thing must definitely happen to us if we refuse to take heed space will not allow me to write about king solomon king joroban and brother demas who was a faithful believer in the time of apostle paul apostle paul have to mention his name in colossians chapter 4 verse 14 but because he did not fortify his spiritual life he backslid even with the watchful eyes of apostle paul so your being in a powerful or prayerful church is not a guarantee that you will stand to the end if you do not take heed to yourself salvation is a personal race in holiness revival movement worldwide many members who have confessed that they have found the last act are not going back but because they could not take heed of their spiritual life today with the same mouth they are castigating the movement so you that is defending holy more now if you do not take heed you will still be the one to castigate it tomorrow so take heed and guide the hedge around you so the serpent will not penetrate to bite you if you do not fortify your soul with prayers and the word of god satan can just bring one little wind of situation you will become offended at your leader or any member you will begin to complain my leader did this or said this to me for that reason i have stopped coming to the fellowship so do as the bible say if you want to remain to the end take root downward and bear fruit upward let's see ways you can stand to the end number one make sure there is no secret sin in your life first king chapter 11 verse 1a john chapter 12 4 to 6 king solomon and judas iscariot has a skeleton in the cupboard and their heart that was why satan could penetrate to buy them so hate all form of evil number two pray always for grace to sustain you to the end Romans chapter 9 15 and 16 ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 don't say you know all pray always for god's grace number three don't harden your heart when god wants you of any sin in your life galatians chapter 6 verse 3 proverbs chapter 29 verse 1 number four crucify your will and be flexible in the hand of god galatians chapter 2 verse 20 be willing to be bent to any direction god wants in your life if god asks you to change your present church to another obey him if he permits sufferings and shame in your life momentarily like job in the bible still follow him number five make yourself available and be at your duty post always john 15 1 and 2 let any time god looks towards you he will see you bearing spiritual fruit and then he will purge you to bear more fruit number six backsliding comes gradual 
when you notice that your interest in the things of God has degenerated cry to God to increase his zeal on you my co lebra I don't know your stand now but God know if you are standing in holiness or you are backsliding then examine yourself and come back to God that first zeal you have when you gave your life to Christ new that holiness life you used to live and preach before are you still living and preaching it today you that is standing now do not glory it until you pass through that beautiful gate of heaven because satan is still planning how to knock you down so take heed and be wise as serpent and harmless as dove amen heavenly father we thank you because your grace is sufficient for us give us more grace to stand to the end in jesus mighty name Amen.